What's going on everybody? Doc Remedy, Scenic Route, representing Primal Rage, giving you another tutorial video on basic EQing. Last time I did one ex explaining how to EQ a bass line out of a, a song or a sample by just taking the low end. We're going to go a little bit more in depth with how the EQ works here. Um, here's a basic graphic equalizer. The average uh, EQ shows somewhere between a 20 hertz and 20,000 kilohertz range because that is the frequency response of the human ear, what it's responsive to. Um, some basic terms you need to learn, your low end, your mids, your high end. Anytime you're adding a boost or a cut, this is a boost or a cut to something, you're obviously affecting the sound of it. So real basic principles, feel free to skip part of this if you would like, but when you add a boost or a cut to a low end, you're affecting the bass or the boom of that sound or instrument. In the mids, it's a little tricky, it's a little uh, more sensitive of an area, but you're affecting the brightness or the muddiness of a sound. And then in your high end, you're affecting the crispness, the air, or the sharpness, if you will. And it's very sensitive up here as well, so just small, small adjustments is all you ever really need to make. Uh, a couple terms you should be familiar with is high pass. They're also called high pass filters. A high pass filter is when you remove the low end from something and just keep the high end. The reason it's called a pass is you're allowing the high pass, the high frequency to pass through the mix and you're taking the rest out of it. There's also the, the opposite would apply which would be a low pass in which you're taking out the high end. Low pass is also called a high cut or a treble cut. Another basic thing you should be familiar with is what's called the Q or the Q parameter which can be found down here. I'm using Adobe Audition, formerly known as Cool Edit Pro. Uh, because it's simple, it's basic, uh, a lot of people can obtain it. You don't have to have a lot of money to buy this program. It's easily obtainable throughout the internet, trial versions, etc. It's not like Pro Tools where you need the hardware. So that's why I'm using this, so the basic people could get this as well. Uh, as far as the Q parameter is concerned, what Q does is Q, when you adjust the Q by boosting or lowering, a frequency band, the Q defines the width of that frequency band. For instance, a lower Q would give you a narrow affected uh, area of your booster or cut, and a higher Q will give you a wider area that's affected. And this is how it works. You see, I will just turn the band on. I'll boost this, and I will change the Q. Got real narrow, or I could raise it. And that's how it works. Uh, it's very good for isolating frequencies. So if you want to take things out or just grab certain things and apply filters to just certain frequencies as well. Uh, so that's that. A uh, few rules that I should tell you you should always apply to mixing things, especially when you're tracking them out, is to always make your cuts before your boost. The reason I say that is I'll use the instance of a bass line. If you make your cut before your boost, you're cutting out all the unwanted sound you would like while you're boosting and trying to find the boost area here of your bass line that you're looking for to get that solid sound you want. Say you want a little more sub bassy or you want it more punchy. Always take the high end out first because if you don't, there's a very, very good chance that what you're hearing will not be a true response once you take that out because frequencies do have a tendency of a, you know, they stay there and they do affect the rest of the mix. So those are the pretty much uh, basics I would like to uh, go over with you. And now we're going to move over to the track. And I have a bass line, a kick, snare, hats, and toms. And I'm going to show you how I mix all those together. I'm using all 808 kits because, once again, they're easy to obtain. Most people use them and are familiar with them. And we're going to get us started. And now, on to part two of this video.